Sprite lovers. We are doing a road trip today, um, more locally than a previous video. We're going to be hitting up a couple pawn shops um, and we're also going to go to Clutter Ducks located out in North Syracuse, like Brewerton area, if you're familiar with it. Um, just kind of looking for some deals today and, and getting some of the games on our backlog rate knocked out. Um, so very exciting. So one of our goals today is uh, I'm actually selling all of my old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys to Clutter Ducks. Even if I can't get too much for them, I, wanna, I figure that's a good resting place for them. And uh, maybe they can have a Toy Story 3 ending uh, where they go to somebody who really wants them. Uh, so, but if I do get some stuff for it, then that'll go towards some stuff at Clutter Ducks because Clutter Ducks has some nice stuff in there. And uh, if James from Clutter Ducks allows, we'll you know give you a little glimpse of the store so you can see what Clutter Ducks is like. And uh, it's a pretty neat place, a uh, good mix of games, toys, and other odds and ends. So we're excited to go. And then, uh, like Megan said, we'll be checking out some Pong Kings. So. Or maybe, yeah, I think just Pond Kings for the Pond Store side of things, but if they're open because it's Sunday. So we'll see, but stay tuned and enjoy the ride. And Cameron's here too. Who's he? Oh, Yay! you again? Yes. <laughs> our, our, our game hunting buddy. Yes. Um, look at that mane up here. It's, He's it, like a lion. <laughs> it needs to be in this video because it's too awesome. A Lannister <laughs> always faces <laughs> box of turtles all right guys so this is clutter ducks emporium um like i said it's out, out in brewerton north syracuse area very cool store a little bit for everyone here um, pretty much we'll just do a little bit of a tour of it kind of see the outside stuff so let's go on in and, and see what they got for us thank you cameron so at the end are some box Star, Star Wars stories. Okay. If you want to look at those first, so we got easier to manage. Yeah. So these are the '95 ones.
so we are here with James, the owner of Clutter Ducks. Hello. And uh, James, we love the store. We've been coming here a few times since we first uh, found out about you. Why don't you just tell us a little bit, like, from your perspective about the store and, uh, you know, what got you started here? And Certainly. Okay. Um, this is Clutter Ducks Emporium. We've been around for about eight months as a brick-and-mortar store. But we were an online store for a about two years beforehand and it just got to the point where I was seeing all this cool stuff it was just basically sitting in my basement until someone online decided they wanted to grab it <laughs> and it didn't really thrill me um, because I mean when you guys come in here or when anyone else comes in here I love the thrill of seeing the stuff mm -hmm. talking about the stuff enjoying it as well as displaying yeah. it for everyone face to face interaction is something that we love and that's why like mm -hmm. with our Ever since we did Sprite Lovers, like going on these tours and meeting mm -hmm. other cool game store owners, oh, toy yeah. store owners, mm -hmm. like it's there's something about that that's missing when you go online. Sure, you can find some stuff online, mm -hmm. but there's it's like that same the same thrill, the human touch, the yeah. same thrill we find from like finding stuff in the wild. Like yeah. I'm sure from your perspective, that thrill of people bringing stuff in that you don't expect is a lot better than oh I saw an order online or on Craigslist. You know, like it loses yeah. that personal touch. Well, you know, I mean from from my personal experience, uh, you know, I'm a collector of anything Zelda, if you've met me, you, you understand that <laughs> right away pretty quickly. Um, but His wedding ring also yeah. does... I Look think at this that needs to be shown. Boss it's so thing. Awesome. Yeah, that's incredible. <laughs> so. All thanks to my wife. Yep. All thanks to my wife. Props she, to Kate. She, absolutely. Um, I mean, I just want to mention this, and if it comes into the video, cool. It will. My wife is a big fuel behind this. She is the one that has motivated me to get this done. So... Just wanted to make sure she's out there, Kate. I love you. Uh... <laughs> uh, but no, I mean, the one thing is, is like, I'm of the mind, because I have a store like this, I very well rarely buy anything online. I'd rather buy it from a local store, have it come into the store. That's how I add to my personal mm -hmm. collection, more often than not. Now, if there's an item I really, really want, and it's not in this local area, obviously I'm going to I'm gonna buy it online. But I give the, the local community the best chance possible to uh, do it first. So. Well, that's what we love about yeah. this place. Yeah. So, well, keep up the good work. Thank you for letting us come in and film uh, you know, this store because we really this store is so unique in a lot of ways and I think it's good. More people can see it the better and I know you definitely would like more people to come in. Yeah, and, I was saying too. You know, was, we, we're glad to be you know, part I of it. I probably overuse this word, but there's just such variety. I mean, you take a look at this place. There's, mm -hmm. there's everything here. The last I mean, pan and scan <laughs> of the whole place. It's just, it's awesome and I, every time I come in here, I find like I see something yeah. new and I'm like, oh wait. Yeah. So, well, so. Uh, I can tell you from the video game community, I don't speak for everyone in any way, shape, or form, but I can say from who I've talked to in the video game community, I can very easily say, you guys are doing an amazing thing on YouTube right now. You're really bringing to the Syracuse Aww. market um, uh, a sense of uh, camaraderie, and you're really bringing a lot of people together. And I wanted to thank you as a business thank owner you. because you guys are definitely helping out my business as well as, you know, having a really cool avenue to pursue. So. Awesome. Well, thank you. Uh, again, we appreciate fun, we appreciate uh, being able to make this a part of our video, <laughs> oh, yeah. and uh, we will be back soon. All right. Thank Thanks. you. You're always welcome. <laughs> okay, so we uh, stopped after Clutter Ducks. We stopped at two pawn, or no, one Pawn King and didn't have any luck. There was one game we were looking at, but we were the line was way too long to bother. Um, but... Got some good stuff at Clutter Ducks, which we'll show you at the end. And we actually stopped at uh, our favorite voltage store in town. We, we will do a video we'll do of them a, eventually. Yeah, they we were just really wanted busy. to kind of. And they were really busy too, so we'll you know, dedicate one video per yeah, local for game store. Local. store. So we um, now are just, we've got pretty much got a bunch of stuff we're going to show off at the end. Um, but we're going to make one last stop, uh, actually at a local game stop, just to check the price on something that we saw yesterday. So, um, that's pretty much it, but, uh, we look forward to showing you this stuff soon, so stay tuned. Alright, so, uh, we are back. Actually, we were back a while ago, but we're now filming <laughs> our, uh, recap from our tour today. And, uh, it was a short tour. We went to Clutter Ducks, as you saw, and then after that we... Stopped at a Pawn King to see if we could find anything there. They had one thing that I wanted to get, but getting there was like, the line there. When we walked in, there was like two people, and then we saw what we wanted, and then it was like 
Like people it's came, it, it was like a bus right. just unloaded and yeah. like, there was a ton of people there were like, There so were two buses out this. there when we left. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so well, we, we were like, I'm eh. sure it'll be there tomorrow. Yeah, we'll check for this other game another time. But we gave it a great score today, and the good thing is most of this was not even required to pay for because of our trades at uh, Clutter Ducks, and I got a little something as a gift given to me. So, um, but yeah, I'm just gonna start things off with uh, the first part of Clutter Duck stuff. Um, so one of the things I got here. Wait, this wasn't this. This was. Where did I get this? Book? <laughs> So <laughs> I just set it, I set it on top of the stuff. So okay. <laughs> so um, ended up getting quite a bit of money in trade, more than I thought I was gonna get for my old toys. So uh, they had a lot of stuff there that I, some of it I saw on their Facebook page at Clutter Ducks. So uh, I was glad to be able to get some of the stuff there. So I'll start with some PS1 games that I got. I have the first Odd World Abe's. Odyssey, I think? Yes, Abe's Odyssey. I have Abe's Exodus, which is the sequel, but I've never wanted to play it until I got the first one. I got the first one. So, pretty cool. It's a really good game. Plays in the style of, like, Prince of Persia or Flashback or one of those types of side-scrolling games where it's not very action-packed. It's very slow, like, climbing. And this one has, like, controlling units and stuff, so it mixes a bunch of different styles. Really fun game. Um, another game, I've been. this has been on my want list for a while because I watched some videos of, like, you know, PS1 classics nobody knows about and stuff, and this is called Looney Tunes Sheep Raider, and you play as Sam, and Sam, no, you play as uh, Ralph Wolf, escaping she Sam Sheepdog, which, if you remember from the old cartoons, was one of the alternate variations of Wile E. Coyote's character, it actually was a different character, Ralph Wolf, and uh, it's, so it's kind of got stealth elements, platforming elements, but the graphics are really good, look like a an actual cartoon which plays well to the simplistic graphics of PlayStation um, to make it look pretty uh, uniform and a lot like a cartoon before fancy things like cell shading and stuff. So it looks really cool. And then uh, I got Destruction Derby 2, which is uh, pretty fun so far. It's like uh, the, one of the best parts about it is the Destruction Bowl where cars just can all crash into each other and stuff. And the matches don't last long because all the cars will up, but pretty cool game there. And then made by the same people, but later on is the first Driver game, which proved to be a pretty popular series. Um, but got this for 99 cents, so that was really good. And then, or actually it was 99 cents, but with the tra uh, trading, trading credits, so I didn't have to pay anything. And then a sought after and pretty cool Squaresoft fighting game is Tobal Number no. 1. And uh, it's really unique because it's got the uh, art design by Akira Toriyama, who did Dragon Ball Z and uh, Chrono Trigger and some of those other really memorable, iconic looks. Um, it's a really unique game. It's got some like RPG modes, even though it's a fighting game. So pretty cool there. So those are the PlayStation games. And Megan, do you want to go over a few? Yeah. Um, there you go. I think you, you have a few more things too. Right? Yeah, you they do. Gonna, okay. Aw, yeah. oh, he lets me go first. Um, yeah, I didn't get a lot here, not because I didn't see anything that I didn't want, but you know, I we kind of both were looking at this like stack of uh, PSPs we'll get to eventually. So mm -hmm. plus, it's I mean, it was it's been so, you know, even though it's for the yeah. collection as a whole, but... Megan will enjoy these games too, yes, but I, I did kind of go, ooh, these are yeah. what I want, so... <laughs> so, um, I did still get a couple good things. I, it, you'll probably remember from previous videos, I got the first and third one of this game. I still have yet to play it, um, but I found a physical copy of Patapon 2, which I have had a hard time finding because usually it's like a download. A download like, code only version. Um, like the greatest hits version of this or whatever yeah. so and we kind of don't like that because we were sticklers for like the original black yeah, label and stuff we, um so got that pretty cool we we've had this game for a while and i got this for neat for our anniversary last year two years ago, two years ago. Mm -hmm. um we went to albany to actually i think it, it was no, buffalo it was buffalo it was yeah. buffalo at movie games um, and I got for Xbox the uh, Conquer Live and Reloaded. Well, stupidly, I forgot to check for a manual, and it was before that was stupid. <laughs> it, was a good, it was a good gift, but I, I was so excited to get it that I didn't like. I was like, ah, manual, who cares, whatever. <laughs> so um, we got the manual finally. So yeah. uh, James, James was really nice to let us buy the manual yes. from a copy they had there. Yeah, so now um, it's, it's complete. complete. Um, so that's pretty cool. Last thing I got from there, um, I saw this and I kept picking it up and I was like, yeah. and then I was like, well, it's for free, so <laughs> it's a, 
you know, it's, it's not bad. And I have, um, on my 3DS, like, a, a little downloaded version, um, kind of like, I guess it's a sequel to yeah, this. I, I don't really know. One. Um, but it's Mario vs. Donkey Kong, Mini Land, Mayhem, Mayhem. Yeah, I don't know if it's the second, third, Yeah, there's a few that are There's a bunch of them. It's a lot of fun. Really cool, puzzly, like, kind of like Donkey Kong, only with a little mini. Yeah, it's based, it's based off the core game of, uh, the... Dunk. Donkey Kong mm-hmm. for Game Boy, then it eventually became Mario vs. Donkey Kong yeah. DS, and then this is the continued series of Mario yeah. vs. Donkey Kong. Um, Great series. Really it, is, it is really fun, very puzzly, good good little challenge. I thoroughly enjoy them, um, and then these even better came with everything, yes, and uh, even Club Nintendo points. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, really excited to have that. I, I like these cool red cases, I don't yeah, know, they're, they're pretty, Mario games. pretty yeah, awesome. Pretty cool. So. So. And then a few more things from there. We have uh, right here. This was the really good finds. Uh, they had a bunch of PSP games, and this I saw on their Facebook page. And I was like, ooh, there's a couple there I really want. Um, so, first one, though, was one that I already had, but we had, like Megan mentioned earlier, the Greatest Hits version. And, uh, you know, it was, I got it real cheap, and it's a great game. I love the original and the remake, but I saw they had it at uh, Clutter Ducks, and it was the regular Black Label one, so I asked him if I could bring it in, and he's like, yeah, that's fine. Um, so. I basically swapped out my Final Fantasy Tactics War of the Lions, a great remake of uh, the first Final Fantasy Tactics for PlayStation. Um, got that. Now it's Black Label Complete. Uh, great artwork and got the manual. So that was a cool find. So even though it was a game I already had, it was good to get a better version of it. And uh, these other ones are all unique, cool games that I've been wanting for a while. And uh, now I got them. First one is Half Minute Hero by Xseed, which is cool because I like a lot of their games. And uh, there was an Xbox Live and PSN download version of this game, but I'm glad to have the actual physical version of it. It's really fun, really unique. I can't wait to try it. And then, bear with me, I don't know if I'm going to pronounce it right, but uh, great Atlas RPG that I've been wanting to get for a while. It's called Gun Gear. It's like got an N in a really weird spot. <laughs> G-U-N-G-N-I-R, Gun Gear. But uh, looks really unique and different, and uh, Metal Jesus Rocks on his YouTube channel, I think, talked about it once, and that's where I first started looking into it, and uh, looks really cool, so glad to have that one. And then I got Valkyrie Profile Lenneth, which I think is a remake of the uh, first one. Yeah. yeah, the original one, because um, it says all new CG cinemas and stuff, so uh, yeah, really cool. I've been wanting to get into this series for a while, and uh, since they had it there, I was like, oh, perfect, I'll get this for PSP. And then... This one is the one that I saw in the picture on Facebook, and I was like, I asked him, I didn't see it, I was like, oh, did you sell this one? And he goes, oh no, actually, I just have it in the back. And uh, he brought it out, and I was able to get it, and that is Tactics Ogre, Let Us Cling Together, kind of a funny subtitle, but uh, it's a remake of the first Tactics Ogre, I think, but really good, supposed to be a really good version, a lot of extra stuff in it. So, got that, and uh, that was awesome getting all these great yeah. PSP games. It's good to finally, like, because I feel up. bad for not showing up love to our PSP, so it's good to finally, yeah, like, build up the, yeah. the backlog There's of it. There's a cat jumping on the table, so <laughs> if you see... This is Kiki. Um, she might be, be below the frame, but there is joining a cat us. here. <laughs> yeah, there she is, saying hello. <laughs> so, no, <laughs> Mike Saltzman, you can't you have can't her. You can't have our cats. <laughs> <laughs> but, kind uh, of an inside joke, guys, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, she's one of our three cats, so... Um, and hopefully she's not blocking the view. Oh, there, she just got down. But, uh, this is, uh, they have a couple of the games. I think the Driver and Destruction cents. Derby, uh, and then this one where he had, like, a 99-cent pile of just games that weren't selling too much and everything. And this one probably isn't the greatest, but, um, I'll tell you why I wanted to get it, and that's Eternal Ring. And, uh, it's made by From Software, and it's got elements of the Kingsfield series and... Eventually, that led into the Souls franchise, which are great games that I love. So I figured uh, try that out, just kind of see what roots <laughs> lie in here uh, before they came out with uh, Souls games. And I love the tagline on the back of the box. It says, "Who said fantasies had to be final?" Ooh. Uh, <laughs> so I thought that was funny. But I think that's everything we got from uh, Clutter Ducks. So yeah. well, just to wrap up Clutter Ducks. Uh, you know, you'll, you've obviously seen a lot of the store, but I love that place. It's, it's a great little place. It's it's always a good time going there, and, and James is so immensely sweet. Um, yeah, keep up the good work. Not just saying this, uh, you know, just to <laughs> butter him up. Butter him up, but like seriously, dude, you're really nice. Um, you know, very so welcoming, very helpful. Um, and that's 
I love going there. It's just mm -hmm. a great atmosphere. Um, so thank you. Yeah, keep up the good work. And uh, if you uh, live in the area, definitely check the store out. It's really cool. You'll be guaranteed to see something cool from your childhood or something, yeah. something that you've, I haven't seen one of these in years. It's just really a blast going in there and seeing what he's got every time we go mm -hmm. in. So uh, that was really fun. So after we went to Clutter Ducks, I mentioned we this went to we went to the, we went uh, to the Pond King. King. Mm -hmm. Didn't have any luck there, but then we went downtown to Voltage, and they were really busy, like we mentioned earlier. Um, we didn't we didn't do any filming or anything like that, but we still yeah. want to show some of the stuff. One like of that. our future videos will feature them, and, and like I yeah, said, we'll we want to um, more intimate devote, look. Yeah, we wanted to devote a video per local game store. Yeah, um, so we can kind of talk about our favorite things. Yeah, about absolutely. And stuff, so, um, but so I'm gonna start with first a little side thing that I got. Um, I got a Game Gear game case. And the reason I got this is because you'll see in our January pickups video that I got uh, a box for a Game Gear game that I had. So now I have it 90% complete, but I needed the thing to go around the actual game cart. So uh, I had the game, got the box, and now I got the cart. So you'll see the complete game later in the month. And uh, the next thing I got, wasn't something that I had to buy. <laughs> this guy over here, even though I got a month to my birthday, has been wanting to get me this, and he yes. decided, you know what, I'm going to get it now before it's sold. And going with the PSP theme of the day, he got me the PSP version of Persona 2 Innocent yeah. Sin. I've been wanting to get, I played a couple of Shin Megami Tensei games, but never any of the Persona series. Wanting to get into it for a while. And now, thanks to Cameron, I got the special edition Persona 2. CD. It's got a music CD with a couple tracks on it, I think eight tracks or something yeah. on it. And then uh, the game itself it was on PlayStation 1, and this is going to be revamped with extra stuff, better graphics, so. And Atlas, just love getting new Atlas games. They're yeah. always packaged really nicely. <laughs> so, really happy to get that. And then, Megan, you've got something at. Yes. Uh, well, I'll go to the second. Okay. Um, I'm jumping ahead there. Uh, <laughs> yes, I've been eyeing this one um, for a while. Actually, it's a little sticky out there. I've been eyeing this one for a while, and as you know, I've been kind of getting into the. Um, just because mm -hmm. they're so fun to collect. Um, this game, truthfully, I don't know a lot about. I I had an interest in it because of Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, um, there was a band. There was a yeah, yeah. There was a band called uh, Clash and Demon Head. Um, <laughs> and actually, looking it up, it seems really awesome. This is like mint condition, very yeah, nice, very like cool. barely used. So um, I was very happy to get that. And it just seems it seems like really over the top, like in a good way though. Mm -hmm. um, and it kind of compared it to different things I was reading, saying it's kind of like non-linear, sort of like Metroid, not exactly, and the, again, the story is like really like over the top. I, I won't really know fully what the game's like until I start playing it, mm -hmm. but nevertheless, really cool add to the NES collection. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm going to go over uh, the last thing from Voltage, and then we got two more games from our final stop of the day. Um, that was kind of a last minute decision, and then we'll let Cameron show off his yeah. pickups for the day. Um, Stacks. So, I saw this at Voltage a couple months ago, and then they sold it, and then they must have got another copy in, but this copy is in a lot better shape than the other one they had in, uh, which had more scuff marks on it, and uh, not much to say about it because it's eager to know the series and it's revered, but it's the Mega Man X collection. I've been wanting this for a while, I have a buddy who has it, and uh, I have the Mega Man Anniversary collection, and then we have the Mega Man Zero collection that we got in Albany. And, uh, you know, Mega Man is such a great series. Uh, it's great to have the Mega Man X collection. And I don't know, I didn't research too much into it to see how perfect these ports are. So there might be some differences, and I obviously still want to keep an eye out for yeah. the originals, even though they're really expensive and sought after. But, you know, to save some time and money, it's good to get this. But it was great value, and it's in great shape. The disc looks great. The manual is white. It looks like a devil was taken out. So <laughs> great to have that. So that was a cool little, just a couple of cool little things we got at uh, Voltage real cheap so that was awesome and then we went yesterday we stopped uh Megan was looking for a Skylanders figure and we stopped, a couple, we, yeah, <laughs> we stopped at a couple stores and one of them was our, our closest GameStop to us and while I was there there was a game I saw that I was like maybe we'll come back and check it out and uh, then there was well while, while I was there the first time uh, the, one of the employees put in the Wii games the used Wii games back on the shelf so I only got to look at really half of them and the other side I didn't want to give his away so we just didn't really look at them, but um, I remember they had it there, and 
Funnily enough, after all the Christmas shopping and stuff, we had a lot of points on our uh, rewards account for uh, Power Up Rewards for uh, GameStop. So I looked and we had a $10 off any pre owned game coupon. So the one game that I saw yesterday, I was like, you know, I'm going to use that and get it for real cheap. And it's another Atlas game, and it's called <laughs> Dokapon Kingdom. And I've heard a few really good things online about this. And it, we were reading the back, and it just sounds really fun. It's kind of like a four player. Uh, RPG party game is kind of what they're calling it. Yeah. And it says like, you know, the first thing it says is the friendship destroying game. So <laughs> we're going to have to try this out and uh, it just sounds really fun <laughs> and uh, another one of those great Atlas games that, you know, Atlas brings over these unique Japanese titles that would not be over here without them. And I hope to God that continues now that yeah. they've been bought by Sega. I hope they still get to do that and put, I hope Sega realizes the value of the Atlas name. And, you know, if they, as long as they're still doing these great, bringing these great titles over that, you know, as far as I know, these games don't sell a ton, but they definitely satisfy this one niche group. And, uh, you know, I think Sega hopefully will notice that that was what they were best at. And hopefully they'll keep the Atlas name on it. Because I'm one of those people that if I see the Atlas name, right. I'm like, ooh, I gotta check this out. So, uh, finally have that. And then this was really cool. Um, maybe two weeks ago, I or I was reading a thread online that said uh, underrated Wii games or, you know, Wii games to look out for. Um, and this one popped up and I was like, oh, I'm surprised I haven't heard of this one. And uh, it's brought over here by Xseed and it's called The Sky Crawlers Innocent Aces. And it's a kind of like Japanese anime mixed with uh, flight sim action, like co plane combat game. And uh, I like a lot, I like, I don't really like sim focused ones, but more arcadey flight sims I really like. Um, and this says it's made from the makers of Ace Combat series, which I like a lot of those games too. I haven't played too many of the recent ones. But uh, Xseed, plus the fact that it's, you know, no, becoming one of these harder to find uh, games, I just two weeks ago added it online to my wish list of uh, games that I've been looking for, and now I can take it off already because I found it already, and it was only $5. So, uh, great color manual. It's got reversible artwork that looks a lot better than the artwork here. I just still have it in the old way. Um, and the disc is full color and in good quality. So, really cool to have that. And, uh, you know, it's funny, I just checked it off the list so soon after finding out about it. So, really glad to have that. And uh, that was a cool, just two, two cool little GameStop bonuses that sometimes GameStop can provide you with some mm -hmm. good games. <laughs> so, now, Cameron, why don't you All take right. the show yeah, and show right. us the stuff you got, because you, <laughs> yeah, you tagged along with us, and now uh, show um, what you were doing well, in the background the whole time. Yes. Uh, <laughs> well, from GameStop, um, uh, Resonance of Fate, Yes. game I was looking into, I know it was overshadowed with like the Final Fantasy XIII release and things like that. Definitely a good game from what I've been reading, yes. research, and stuff like that, so... Hopefully, I'll enjoy it. Well, maybe you'll see it in one of our pickup videos soon, because yeah. I've been looking at it too. So. I'll find that copy. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then back to the local game store, Voltage. I got a bunch of games. Yes. Um, Valkyrie Profile, coming out of the Poon. Yep. And I've been looking at this game. Um, just recently picked up uh, the second one for the PlayStation 2. Um, so I'm getting into the series. And then, mm -hmm. even though I have the PSP version, I'm looking to get the, the he's looking the original, original PlayStation, PlayStation yeah. version. So, and hopefully, I mean, the gameplay seems really fun, unique. Mm -hmm. um, Square Enix does make good games. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, awesome. Another game I got there. I have the first one. Grandia. Grandia Two. Yeah, Grandia Two. Yes. Great, great <laughs> series. Mm -hmm. Book everything like that. Mm -hmm. It's definitely good quality. Be sure to. Get into that soon. Yes. <laughs> now, this is a game I just heard some things about, and good, bad. Um, uh, Drakengard. Yeah. It's uh, normally in uh, Asia. It's uh, Dragon Dragoon. Yes, that's right. That's, <laughs> that's what how it's known. Yeah. And I saw the third one that's supposed to be coming yes, out. Yes, they soon. just announced that. I remember. And sort of got me interested in yeah. looking back into these. Yeah, it's always looked interesting to mm -hmm. us, I know, but like, good to see, like, yeah. you see it for a good price, it's like, ooh, good deals. Mm -hmm. And then I got the second one as well. Oh, yeah, that was there. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, ah, what should I get? Breaking Guard? 
Yeah. 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 And then good quality. Yep. Got the manual as well. Love the artwork. Yeah, it's got such nice bold artwork. Yeah. And it's cool because the first and second game have kind of different looking different Star Wars, but they both look really nice. Yeah. But there's something eye catching about that second mm -hmm. one. I really like that. And then I haven't played any of these games. Shamefully. Uh, but <laughs> Shin Megami Tensei Persona 3. Yeah, so Persona 2, Persona mm -hmm. 3. Uh -huh. Might as well get into yeah. it when I can. Yes. Looks Definitely great. Like the setting. It won Game of the Year on some. A couple of websites I know uh, when it came out. GameSpot <laughs> says on the box, cool. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so uh, series we both have been wanting to get into, we've talked yeah. about, even though we haven't played it. So. <laughs> we oh, both have. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I, sorry. I, I, I saw the next one and I was like. You see this, we're both like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. I get very excited. How do I start off with this one? Uh, <laughs> Grim Grimoire. Yes. As the artwork may seem familiar, it's. Yes. Um, Dragon's Crown. Yes, group. Vanilla Wear. Yeah, vanilla Wear. And they do Muramasa the Demon Blade, another Wanna give it to beautiful that game. Yeah. <laughs> so Just the art style, beautiful. And it's supposed to be a very unique game. Yeah, it's like a RTS RPG. Yeah, it kind of <laughs> mixes genres, and uh, uh, Kevin uh, from the uh, Voltage, Voltage Store, he <laughs> was recommending, he's like, hmm. it's a really weird, unique game, but you'll probably like it. He said to definitely check it out, so yeah, so Cameron was looking at it anyway, so I <laughs> <laughs> got that. Um, I haven't played any of the games of the series, but it's always been intriguing to me. It's the Ark the Lad game. Yes. And so uh, Twilight of the Spirit. It says in the spine. I'm sure. looking forward to getting the uh, PlayStation yes. collection. The, it has like three games. Yeah. Right? So, um, yeah. Um, the series almost. You know, started later, yes. but you'll go back and get the other games. <laughs> uh, this was a good deal for me, since it was only like two or three bucks. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, Sega Saturn. Virtual Fighter 2. And you just got a Saturn after, you may remember when he got Albert Odyssey uh, in <laughs> Albany, which was such a great trip. Yeah. Uh, after he got that, we got back and he got a Saturn in town. Mm -hmm. And uh, now he's able to play Saturn games. So, yeah. he, you know, that's first part two is a classic Saga fighter. So, yeah. for that price, you can't say no. Yeah, that's <laughs> it's funny, I don't have a PlayStation 2, but I'm building up this collection. Yeah. He but had one before. I, I did. He had one a while ago. Slim it, one, right? Yeah, oh, it, it busted. Yeah. So, Getting yeah. some of the good games for it, and then once you get, and you can find PS2s everywhere. Yeah, they're so, like, yeah. Voltage didn't have them at the moment, yeah, so but they were like 50 bucks, so it's, you know, yeah. easy. For the price of yeah. a, less than the price of a new game. Yeah. New game. <laughs> <laughs> but that's our video, our second tour video. It was kind of a local tour, but it's still a little bit of a drive for us to go to Clutter Ducks, so we figured why not uh, center the video around Clutter Ducks and then have a couple of bonuses. But, and then hmm, Cameron popped up again. He's always here for our road trips. <laughs> but uh, we're going to do a couple more road trips. Uh, or maybe not for another couple months, but we're going to uh, go back to Albany eventually. We're going to show you some other local stores around. And uh, but we're going to probably take some other people around with us, too. Cameron probably be around, I'm too. But to show, cause we have a couple of friends from out of town who want to check out some of our local stores and stuff. So we'll be glad to show uh, everybody on YouTube the yeah, local stores absolutely. as well. Absolutely. And, uh, um, and if you have any questions about Clutter Ducks, um, oh, yeah. we know James very well. Mm -hmm. um, either we'll that put or his we can contact put some info, contact yeah. information. Hit the dude this. up if you see anything. Okay. You <laughs> people <laughs> check down below. Check that. Um, if you saw anything in the in the footage that I showed, because I got quite a bit of footage of mm -hmm. what he has in the store. If Good there's stuff. anything you're like, you know, let us know. Yeah, um, we'll reach out to us. We'll put the word out because we would definitely appreciate your business mm -hmm. and time. Um, there's yeah. a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. check out the store if you can. So. It's, it's well worth it. Cool. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next video. Okay, nice. <laughs> <laughs>